I know you are all tired. It's been a long day, but I have good news for you. I have a very interesting topic <laughs> to talk about. Uh, protest. So this lady is, uh, well, is uh, contemplating. Uh, so uh, I will talk about my experience in a collaborative project between the National Center for Social Research, in which I'm working as a research <coughs> director, with the Athena Research Center, which is a center for information and communication technologies. And I will show you the work that we did. Um, So, this is called ProMap from uh, protest mapping. Um, I'd like to ask, is anyone here a social scientist or political scientist? You, where? Where do you work? Well, sociology is media studies. In? Media studies and sociology. Oh, okay, okay. So, <laughs> so, um, I have a, a relative here. <laughs> so, um, so this is, um, a, I want to, to say a few words about ECHE. ECHE is the National Center for Social Research, funded by the government. Uh, ECHE is a prospective member of uh, CLARIN, and uh, we have recently signed a memorandum of, of uh, collaboration between Athena Research Center and us. Some technical issues uh, still need to be solved, but we will solve them. Um, and AK is planned to join the Greek network during the next phase. So uh, we, uh, I will present you a use case of uh, the Clarin services. So PROMAP is a use case, but it is not the only one because we continued after this successful collaboration, we continued to collaborate and to think other projects <coughs> in which we could continue this uh, challenging endeavor uh, and this dialogue between social scientists and computational uh, linguists. So uh, we have also um, done work on radicalism in Greece um, analyzing verbal aggressiveness uh, with treated data. So uh, during the PROMAP project, which was uh, implemented during the 2015, last year, uh, the ILSP services were not yet integrated in the infrastructure. And the goal was to replace the manual workflow uh, until then with automated services. So um, the most recent research is about radicalism and it's a project that um, I recently presented in the RC conference from the International Sociological Association in Leicester. I'm coming from Leicester to Belgium. Uh, on uh, the question if orthodoxy is, can be or we can assume that it is radicalized and we combine uh, in the context of civic discontent and religious identification. And I analyzed, of course, the, the rise of Golden Dawn, which is the most violent uh, radical right party in Europe at the moment. So um, we used verbal aggressiveness in Twitter towards Muslims and Pakistani. Pakistani is kind of a control group because it's a separate, uh, differentiated group from the uh, Muslim community. Uh, Golden Dawn members are very aggressive to Pakistanis. And um, our goal is to, in the second phase, newspaper data, uh, to find possible correlations between Twitter data and physical attacks. What does this mean? This means that if we can find, detect, monitor 
correlations between verbal aggressiveness and the trend over time and physical attacks, can we predict violent actions? And this is the main question. Um, this was done with a, a new tool uh, that Athena has developed, Athena Research Centre. Uh, it's a platform uh, which contains the major uh, daily newspapers in Greece and Twitter data. So, um, I'm coming to the rationale of the PROMAP project. So, the setting is to examine protests within the context of the Eurozone crisis and the global economic crisis. So, we know from our experience that we have waves of mobilization and protest, different kinds, and new forms of collective action. Uh, no need to mention Arab <coughs> Spring, Occupy Wall Street, and, and all that. So, we have new paradigms, new repertoires, new actors. Uh, we have emerging new forms of protest and grassroots mobilization on economic hardship that may or may have not, may not have incorporated attributes of older forms of protest. So this is the case of Greece. We examined only Greece. It's not a comparative project. So the aim and key objectives was to record and map varying forms of contention and mobilization in post-authoritarian <laughs> Greece for almost 20 years and to spot, identify protest events, actors, participants, repertoires, agendas, and to try to track and map the evolution and transformation of contentious claims over time. I will go back to claims, claims over time. So we wanted to doc document protest cycles in Greece and to find uh, the dynamics of contention in Greece. So our research framework was within the very important large strand in social sciences, uh, the theories of collective action and uh, the role of social movements for social transformation. In this strand, what happens after the decade of uh, 2000? We have large European projects, mainly comparative, which examine themes like migration and citizenship, the emergence of a European public sphere, the politics of unemployment, the spread of new forms of participatory politics and democracy, and the policing of protest. De La Porta is uh, a renowned scholar on this field. So we have um, a tradition of protest event analysis, and we have uh, the work of Koopmans, mainly a Statham, Paul Statham, Statham uh, on claims analysis. What is claims analysis? Claims analysis tried to uh, combine the context in the context of political claims making, the element of discourse, so as to find, uh, to become the protest event analysis, to become more sensitive to discursive messages. So uh, we recorded uh, all the relevant research projects that we know so far. And these are, I don't know, can you see the, the this, I or is it hmm? <laughs> Sm too small? Yeah, can do that. Well, it's Prodad. Um, maybe some of you uh, may have heard of this um, from the 
Berlin Social Science uh, Center. It's the work of Frucht. Uh, it's, uh, the time reference is uh, 46 years and the topic is protest event analysis for the whole time span and the method is event data analysis and resources is, what else? Newspapers. And um, Rucht also examined police records. What is the sampling method? The sampling method is uh, in the last column. It's Monday newspaper edition and edition of the fourth Europub, uh, this is Koopman's work, um, again in Berlin Social Science Center. We have eight years and the topic is the degree of European integration in seven countries. And the method is political claims analysis, semi-structures interviews, newspaper archives and internet. Uh, we have the Merci project, the responsive gov of the University of Leicester, the GG Crisi, it's a, a collaborative project between Greek uh, University of Crete, Crete in Crete and uh, the um, Germans to see the attribution of blame to Germans during the crisis. Uh, it is this is, ve is very interesting. Um, I don't want to, to go on with this, but you see here the ESSI. ESSI was a, a feasibility study in the context of the European Social Survey. We have spent quite many years trying to do event reporting. Uh, we heard before about event registry and um, it was not a surprise to me uh, the fact that we had so many questions with a colleague that presented the event registry. Um, all these questions that I heard before were set by the national coordinators in European Social Survey. What was event, event reporting? What were we trying to do was to report significant events in each country that might have an impact on attitudes, on respondents' attitudes. So we were trying to make a, a registry or a repository of events in each country. So each substantial researcher could go and dig a bit when uh, a variation in survey responses was detected. Does it, this work? No. Why? Because the Germans were very keen to do this in, in detail. I was very keen as a national coordinator <coughs> to do this in, uh, in detail, but most of the countries found it very tiring to um, record the events uh, using newspapers. Well, what was uh, very useful, uh, it turned out this, this was a uh, uh, supplementary tool for the ESS questionnaire. Um, and the, the scope was to measure uh, context in cross-national survey. And what it turned out to be was to record media claims based on Koopman's political claims analysis, uh, the outcome was to create a tool for media monitoring. This is uh, what it turned out to be. And it's called media claims. So now each country participating in ESS has to uh, monitor min media claims. So in ProMap, we followed a similar approach. ProMap is part of a collaborative, a bigger collaborative project uh, between uh, ECHE, my centre, uh, between the Hellenic Statistical Authority. Uh, we have Panorama. Panorama uh, is a, a geospatial mapping of uh, census. Socioscope, which is in, in socioscope belongs Promap, and socioscope was 
the outcome, as you can see here, from uh, uh, the collaboration with Athena Research Centre. Two institutes worked on this project. The one was the Institute for the Management of uh, Information Systems, uh, IMIS or IMIS, and the ILSP, the Institute for Language and uh, Speech Processing. So, um, what why uh, we used NLP tools? I was desperate to find um, NLP wise uh, scientists when I first started. I have to tell you that my first um, contact with newspapers were not in the 19th century, but were the papers in my PhD. Then I worked with SPAD mining. Uh, trying to find patterns of migration uh, in um, I had to run this project. I knew what uh, I wanted to do, but I couldn't find it. Why? Because um, uh, because the newspapers were reluctant to give their um, material in the format that we needed because the time was short this was a, a three years project and I had to complete it in one so um, I met these guys from Athena and um, we did what you see the University of Zurich in, in 2013 did it's crazy, the project of uh, Hans-Peter Crazy, uh, about the politicization of Europe, uh, which is similar to our work. So uh, the methodology we uh, implemented was based on political claims analysis of Kupman's Statham, and the unit of analysis was a claim. It was not an event. A claim, it's a smaller unit of analysis. So we elaborated a new coding scheme based on Koopman's work. And the sampling strategy it was to select two da daily newspapers, uh, Cathy Merini, it's a rightist, center rightist uh, newspaper, uh, Avi, which is leftist, and uh, the sample was two days per week for the entire period, Wednesday and Friday. I have to say that I fought uh, with fought. I tried very hard to take these two days because it was the first time uh, in Kathimerini that someone, a researcher, asked for uh, so many years. So the, the, the first reaction was, we can't give it. We can't give it, you have to sign an agreement and all that. So, um, pilot coding, and then we went on to what was the, uh, an adventure, um, a happy, with a happy ending. Uh, so, we applied the computational method developed by ILSP Institute, and we started to do iterations in collaboration with the ILSP team. In my team, I had two political scientists, PhDs, one social scientist and one uh, computer engineer. And the others from ILSP were mostly computational uh, linguists. Uh, from IMIS, the other uh, institute, uh, IMIS had to create the platform, which is called Socioscope, and which is for mapping uh, and the development of cube collection. So the constraints were the availability of the selected newspapers, like Eleftherotypia. Eleftherotypia uh, is um, a daily newspaper, but it was closed down. So the archive was locked in somewhere we couldn't even reach it. So, um, the availability of newspaper data in XML format, 
the copyright issues, the selection bias, it has to do with media content, and the restrictions of uh, automated NLP tools. Well, wow, how we define a claim? The claim, uh, we rephrased uh, Koopman's uh, definition, and a claim for us is defined as a purposive unit of strategic or communicative action in the public sphere, aiming at a collective stake and having the form of physical or verbal action. A valid claim for us is not explicitly political because a non-political claim may have political implications. So the structure of a claim is uh, illustrated in these variables that you see. So it's uh, the location, the time and, and space where and when the claim is made, the claimant, the actor, who is making the claim, the form of the claim, how the claim is inserted in the public sphere, the addressee of the claim, at whom is the claim directed, the substantive issue of the claim, which is a very difficult part of uh, this line of analysis. What is the claim about? The object actor against or for whom was made and the justification for the claim why, this is called the framing, the frame of the claim, why should this action be undertaken? The seventh element, we couldn't, we didn't have the time to touch it. It's a very difficult element, framing the claims. But I would like you to imagine how we worked. The form of action, how, imagine a train and the locomotive, the first wagon is the form of action. This is how we started. We were looking for the forms of action. So um, we have here examples of claims. Um, I don't know if you can see the, the letters. The employees of the Greek Public Power Corporation, how went on a strike. This is the form of action, strike. At whom? stating that the government, what issue, should not further privatize the power corporation because, for against whom, the object actor, the Greek people, why, this is the frame, benefit from the public ownership of the corporation. Um, this is the work of um, uh, the application, the suite that uh, ILSP has generated for us and uh, it's the analysis uh, and uh, the iterations between the two teams, data collection, pre-processing, filtering, domain modeling, system architecture and then the implementation and testing and the integration of this particular uh, suite, claim extraction, issue detection, time location and recognition. So this is the pipeline that they constructed. I don't have much to say. You're very familiar with that. I'm not a linguist. Uh, I've worked with them, but if you have a specific question, uh, you can tell me and I can address to, to them directly. So, um, the pre-processing procedure was the collection of articles from the newspapers in this time span that we have already talked about. And uh, each file in the data set was a unique article. The output was a collection of text files. We started with more, more than uh, 3,000, uh, 30,000 articles and we ended up uh, after applying a lexicon in more than uh, 50,000 articles. Uh, we created this newspaper archive search all from scratch. The guy who made this is now in Edinburgh doing his PhD and I'm very proud of that. <laughs> and um, the team was working on this platform to, um, to construct the queries. 
So this is this is the steps. Uh, these are the steps uh, from the the data, the sample, and newspaper archive, and the results. Um, and this is in an example of manual coding. If I had to do uh, in the classical way the coding, what would I have to do? I have, I had to have all of you. Uh, looking at newspapers at the same time, then I would have problems with intercoder reliability. And uh, although this is in Greek, you can understand that we have a text where you read and you annotate. But this is the ProMap coding. So the text that you saw before, it's cut into pieces according to our coding scheme. You can see how detailed it is. So um, I will briefly uh, present some findings uh, here. Yes, yes. So uh, here you can uh, see that we found that um, the strike is, you can see the, the blue line. And you can see that this is national elections and change of government. When we have national elections and change of government, then we have a steep decrease of protest, of strikes. And you, we have this as well, over here and over here. And then the spike goes, goes up. So, um, we have uh, found that the predominant claims are over labor, employment, and educational issues. And strikes show the most significant variation over time. Trade unions, of course, are the prominent actors of strikes, but shortly after the Olympic Games and before memorandum, it seems that they lose their ability to form and synthesize claims. Um, do I have two minutes to show the platform? No. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, this is a platform that um, it's about election results, social conflicts and protests. And you can see here the two newspapers, Avi and Kathimerini. And in the left are the newspapers. You can go to the um, actor claimant. These are the health sector employees. And compare by, let's say, farmers. Farmers are the the black line over time. And let's see the form of action. What did they do, these actors? Form of action. Strike. You can see the health, the, 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 those uh, working in the health sector, you can see the difference with the farmers over time. But with, if we check another uh, form of action, like blockade, you can see a difference. The farmers are now the blue ones because this is a form of action that they usually um, pick to protest. And of course, we have maps. And here you can see uh, the blockades in uh, northern Greece where uh, they are mostly uh, the, um, and this, this is the um, extract of uh, the newspaper, the headline and newspaper issue. And the level of analysis is at uh, muni municipality. <coughs> so that was it. Thank you for attending.